For cheap and instant GTA 5 money, click the link in the description. What is going on guys, my name is Chaotic and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video here on my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be sharing some locations with you guys that you may have not visited for a while or you may not know about at all. There are so many really cool locations in GTA 5, but most players don't really go to them very often, if at all. So the purpose of this video is to share these with you guys and remind you that these locations do exist and they are definitely worth checking out more often. Anyway, so to start things off, I'm going to be showing you guys a location which can be found inside the prison. Now as I'm sure you guys know, you can drive inside the prison by simply going up to the main gate and driving through. Once you get close to the gate, it will open and you can drive inside. But do bear in mind, once you're inside, you will get yourself a 4 star wanted level and the police will very, very quickly make their way to your location. But upon inside, what you guys want to do is make your way to one of these watchtowers. Because you can in fact go in all of them which are located around the perimeter. There's around about 8 to 10 of these which you can in fact get inside of. The doors at the bottom do open, simply walk through and then take the stairs all the way to the top where you have a very good line of sight all the way around you. You can see pretty much the entire interior of the prison itself, plus of course you have a good line of sight to all the other towers and all the roads nearby as well. So if you wanted to, you could camp inside here, get yourself a wanted level and just see how long you can last because like I said, very, very quickly, the cops will come to your location and try to kill you because you're inside the prison. Or if you wanted to, you could come to this location when there are other players trying to chase you down. You could hide inside here and use the police to your advantage because if other players want to try and kill you, they of course have to face the police as well. But if there are players driving past, you of course can hide inside here and take them out without them even realizing that you can see them from this location. It's definitely a very cool location which you can have some fun with and it was only just the other day that I found out you can actually go inside these watchtowers. Anyway, so moving on to the second location, this being the crane which is just down the road from the Eclipse Towers. Now I know all of you guys know of this location and I'm sure at one point during your GTA Online experience you would have been to the top, but I have never seen anyone in a public online session come up here and take full advantage of the view and the lines of sight which you can get from up here. It's certainly a very good location which isn't utilized by many players in GTA Online and it's certainly a location I would recommend going to if you want a good view of the area and to watch all the other players in the online session. And of course what you can also do is go to the end of the crane, put out a sniper and you can get a very good line of sight to the nearest Los Santos Customs which is the one which pretty much everyone goes to. And although the custom shop is very far away, you can in fact shoot that far using a sniper rifle so if you need to, you can kill people down there. But moving on to another location which also has some great lines of sight, this being the clock tower, which again I know you guys know about, but very very few people actually go to and use this location to their advantage. So right by here again, it's one of the tallest buildings in the area. So once you're on top of it, you have a great line of sight and a good view to everything around the area, like the pier, the beach, the roads that go down towards the airport, the roads that go towards the main city area, and of course if there's anyone in a helicopter or a jet coming Coming towards your location, you can go down the ladder and hide in this hole right here. But let's move on to one of my favorite locations in GTA Online, this being the waterfall that can be found in this location right by here on the map. Again, it's one of those locations which most players know about, but don't really ever go to in GTA Online. But I think this location is just so, so pretty, especially for Snapmatics and things like that. But what's also really good about this location is that you can in fact stand behind the waterfall and completely hide your character from view. So what you guys want to do is exactly what I just did in the video. You want to walk around the outside of the water being very, very careful you don't go towards the middle because if you do, the rapids or the currents will sweep you under the water and take you downstream. But as long as you go around the outside, you can avoid that and then stand behind the waterfall just like I'm doing in the video. And like I said, you're completely hidden from view. It is a very, very cool location to go to if you want to hide from other players in the session. But it's overall a very nice location anyway. Up next, 
next is a nice hideout in the Sandy Shores area. What you guys can do at this location is enter one of the trailers in the Lost MC trailer park and you can go inside and just chill out if you want to. It's that simple, just make your way to this trailer which is at the back of the trailer park and simply walk through the door. It's the only trailer which you can actually get inside of but it's a really cool one. There's not really much space inside but it's a great place to hide out in. And this location goes really well with the recent biker theme that's going around in GTA Online right now. So if you guys are into role playing and stuff like that, then it's definitely a location to try out and use. Now, as for the next location, this admittedly was found very, very close to the initial launch of the game back in 2013, but since then it hasn't really been used, and for many players, it's one of those ones which everyone has forgotten. So this location is in the Polito Bay area on the main road which goes through right next to the chicken factory itself. What you guys want to do is climb on top of this roof, and you can in fact come inside this room right by here, which has some windows, giving you a very good line of sight to the main road that goes through through Polito Bay itself. So if you want to dominate this part of the map in a GTA Online session and anyone drives through, you can take them out in quite a secretive way as they won't be expecting anyone to be in this building as they're driving through. Anyway, so moving on to location number seven. So what you guys want to do first of all is make your way to this location right by here on the map. Now the location itself does take some getting to, but it's a very good location and is definitely worth it. So what you guys want to do first of all is run down this alleyway. At the end, then go left and on your right hand side is going to be a green skip. Climb into this skip and then climb up for a second time onto this metal pipe. I would then recommend pulling out a weapon and walking very, very slowly along this pipe as you can very easily fall off. And once you get to this window, climb inside and you're then going to be inside this secret room right by here, which is completely sealed off. That's the only way to actually get inside this building, unless of course you parachute down from a helicopter or a plane. But once you're inside this location right by here, you'll have a good line of sight to a number of different roads. So if anyone is driving past in the area, you can of course kill them or take them out. Or of course you can hide inside here as well if there are any bounty hunters chasing you down as well. It's going to be very very difficult for people to actually get inside here. So you can of course dominate this general area. But moving on to the final location in today's video. This being one of the best secret locations in GT Online which many players still don't know about. But it's located right by here at the top of the map just down the road from Polito Bay itself. And basically what you guys can do on the beach is go inside this tunnel. Now you can in fact walk all the way through this very long tunnel which goes all the way under the road to the other side. And at the end of the tunnel there is an exit which is covered by four metal bars with one broken and it is in fact possible to actually go through here and exit if you want to but it is very very difficult and I actually gave up because of how difficult it is. But overall I think this tunnel is a very good location especially if you guys want to hide in a GTA Online session. It's one of those locations which many players have either forgotten about or don't know at all. But what you can in fact do once you're in this tunnel if you wanted to is stand in the middle of the tunnel. On the minimap it would show your location to be on the road above you and if any players are trying to find you they would go to that location and they wouldn't be able to find you at all unless of course they know about this tunnel below. Anyway so there we go guys with that being said that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys could drop a like on this video it would help me as often it's also greatly appreciated. Also be sure to leave a comment on this video and let me know your thoughts and feelings about these locations and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel I'd recommend that you do because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So as always guys thank you for watching and we'll see you guys next time.